Hello guys, this is AR. I got a little commentary for you guys, and no, the Aggressive Recon School is not done yet. I made it, but I was not satisfied with it, so it will be out this weekend. I just have to re remake it. You know, most of my Recon videos lately has been very aggressive, so I figured I would post some longer range kills from around where I was playing the other day. I was really tired when I played this, so I didn't have the concentration to go aggressively, so instead I stayed back and took some shots at enemies at long ranges. Now when I say long range, I'm not talking about extreme ranges like a thousand meters, which in all honesty is a completely useless range to engage a target at. I've also gotten a few comments asking if I was any good at long range shooting, and my answer to that would be that I'm decent, but very out of practice, seeing as I've only played aggressively now for months. While watching this, I would like to underline why I don't like long range sniping. <coughs> Yeah. No matter how good you are, a shot at 450 okay. meters or more will ultimately be decided on what the enemy chooses to do, seeing as the bullet travels. If he decides to stop, turn or jump, it may ruin your shot. Yes, it's exciting, but it's very ineffective. And seeing as most good battlefield players jump and move sporadically, <laughs> as they should, hitting a good player is close to impossible, and primarily based on luck. I can say with 100% certainty that I have never been taken out by a long range sniper while moving around the map like I normally do. And that also tells me something about the snipers in this game. I see tons of long range snipers and I'm not even afraid of them, because I know they will never hit me and I can easily hit them since they're just lying perfectly still somewhere. This is why I try to encourage people to move around and take objectives and go closer to the enemies. It's more fun, more action packed, and you really help your team uh, compared to staying back to get a headshot at 500 meters plus, and you get a lot more practice from it. You will also notice here that I really stand still and watch where the bullet lands uh, to adjust my aim, which is probably why my accuracy is a bit off on long ranges now. The reason for this is that it comes automatic automatically for me, and seeing as I normally play so aggressively, standing still after taking a shot means you're dead, so my bullet drop per correction is more or less on how I feel the shot went. I always go through the video afterwards though in slow motion to see if I, how much I was off, and if I tend to shoot too high or too low. The JNG is a pretty new rifle to me as well, so this was the first time trying it out at long range. Now some other stuff has happened this week as well. I got my new keyboard, for those who didn't know or just subbed to me, I won the Hazard Cinema Top 10 Battlefield 3 place a while back. Uh, it's episode number T if you want to episode number 10 if you want to check it out uh, and chose the Black Widow Ultimate Battlefield 3 keyboard from Razer as my prize and after a long wait it's, it's finally arrived um, they had to wait for the new shipment to be able to send it to me but nevertheless it's here and it's awesome I will do a full review of it once I tested it more and when I have a camera to show you guys exactly how it looks like sounds like it feels like well I can't really show you how it feels like but you get the point what I can say about it though is that it's complete revelation for me. I've been using a 20 year old keyboard now for years uh, and was very comfortable with it. This new, re this new keyboard however is an advanced mechanical keyboard and probably will take some time getting used to. But will hopefully take my gaming to a new, le to a new level. Uh, first impression is very good though and uh, so far it feels great. I do tend to push some buttons that I don't mean to yet because they're very sensitive and I'm used to a very hard on the keyboard so you're just going to have to adjust to it. So summer vacation has snuck upon us again, and I'm not going to have any vacation this year, I'm going to work all summer, so instead I wanted to ask you guys what you are doing this summer. Got any awesome plans? Please share them in the comment section so I can read it and dream of palms and white beaches while I work. Other news, my girlfriend will be visiting me next week, so I probably won't be making that many videos, probably not anyone, uh, I mean, probably not anything. Oh my god, maybe one, but the Gunmaster Monday will be out though, seeing GRIs on... on I've been working all day, I'm completely off. She arrives on Tuesday, so I will be making the uh, Gunmaster Monday episode. Whew, finally got that out. That was everything I had for this uh, little commentary. I hope you enjoyed the uh, gameplay and some long range shooting. Don't forget to mention your uh, summer vacation plans, and um, see you guys this weekend. Bye.